everybody, it's Samuel here. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'd like to talk to you about the importance of trying to learn another language. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, so, recently uh, I had a family emergency and I had to leave the country and go to Mexico so that I could visit somebody in the hospital. And of course, because I did this, I ended up in a part of Mexico where they don't speak English very well. In fact, almost nobody spoke English except for a few of the doctors that were uh, seeing to the person whom I was going to visit. Now, everybody has had that time in their life where they've gone into, say, a Starbucks or a Baskin Robbins, a Tim Hortons, whatever, some menial job to make an order or you've been on the phone with customer service and you've dealt with that person where English was not their first language. And when you did this, chances are you were left feeling very frustrated, very annoyed, and probably thought, why can't they just hire somebody who speaks my language? Why can't they hire somebody who's intelligent enough to be able to communicate with me? Now the funny thing about this is, uh, I've been guilty of this a time or two, but having gone on this experience where I went down into Mexico and I had to speak Spanish. Now, I learned Spanish in university like six years ago. My Spanish is not great at all. Uh, at best, I probably speak like a four-year-old, five-year-old child trying to just uh, communicate very small things. And I found that the shoe was definitely on the other foot, where I know that I am a really intelligent person who just ha can't communicate. Like, you're only as intelligent as you're able to communicate. So. As much schooling as I've had, as much life experience as I've had, I'm suddenly in this position where I'm, I'm just a kid. Like, I can't understand what they're trying to tell me. I can't communicate to them my concerns. And so I really got thinking about how it's important for people to try and learn another language, even if you don't expect to ever have to uh, proficiently speak it, just so that you can learn a little bit about what it's like uh, to empathize with people who, who, who've had to learn English, who've had to learn another language. Of course, then there's the other thing where by learning another language, you learn a whole new way to express yourself and you become that much more uh, than you are now because you can describe things in ways that you weren't able before. But how horrible it must feel for some of these people who have to work these crap jobs, who have to work and back home, they could be really intelligent, really, they could be book authors, they could be lawyers, they could be whatever, but then they're stuck here as janitors, as, um, as just uh, servers at some coffee shop, dealing with people who, who can't understand them and understand or empathize with what they're going through. So yeah, that's my rant on <laughs> why you should learn another language. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, as always, if you like this video and you want to see more, uh, feel free to go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button. If you've learned another language, let me know in the comments below what you, what you found difficult about learning a new language. And uh, as always, uh, check, out our Patreon, <laughs> check out our Patreon page, uh, there'll be a link in the description below. For as little as a buck, you can uh, help us make more videos, more short films, more music films. Anyways, till next time. See you later.